hey, this isn't my typical type of video. It's not edited, it's not monetized, but a lot of you have been asking me about my thoughts and opinions on the Surfside Miami condo collapse. Uh, so I thought I'd give my thoughts and some opinions on it. And I usually don't like to talk about these types of events, but it might be helpful, so I'll go into it. And maybe, uh, yeah, why it collapsed. You know, my answer is pretty boring, but uh, I'll give it anyways later on. And, you know, my first thought is, first and foremost, this is a uh, tragedy first. Uh, first and foremost, it's, yeah, building collapse, but uh, you, know, you can't forget that a lot of people died and uh, are, are missing in this, uh, this tragedy. So, you know, don't forget that. And, you know, to, to paraphrase a, a quote, one life lost is a tragedy, but, you know, 100 is a st statistic. And I think with a lot of our engineering minds, we, we tend to try to focus on the problem, our problem-solving minds going, uh, going to detective mode. Why did this building collapse? Let me use my engineering judgment to figure out if they designed it correctly. Did the contractors mess up? Did the architects mess up? Uh, so it's really easy to get into that and get into the speculation mode, which uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I think a lot of people have uh, have done that and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just, you know, still remember that it's tragedy first. And it's to me, at least, it's still a, a sensitive subject. That's why I don't like talking about it too much. It kind of reminds me of a, a story I heard that when I went to a structural engineering convention, some of the first responders that went to these types of tragedies. You know, it's easy to see it from our television screen, but when you're actually on the site uh, of, uh, of those types of events, uh, you know, one of the engineers was like, oh, this is, this is cool. Look at how this building collapsed. Did it collapse this way? Did it collapse uh, that way? And you could see them all excited, but to them it was a, a building that collapsed and kind of doing some forensic engineering. Uh, but right next to them was the family that just lost their home and, you know, lost their family in that, in that rubble. And, you know, it's, it's easy to forget as engineers. We're, we have a lot to do with the numbers, but, you know, there's, there's people there too, uh, especially that were directly related to that event. Uh, so that's why, uh, for me, I don't like looking at that footage. Uh, so... Yeah, that's kind of why I've kind of been hesitant about it and, you know, trying not to speculate. In terms of what I think happened, uh, all of us, we don't know what happened. It's, we weren't on site, we're not the ones doing the investigation on there. It's, there's a lot of speculative videos out there. There are a lot of good theories, actually, but, you know, it's, they're all theories at this point. There's no official report yet, but... At least, you know, m one of my thoughts is for a building that's been standing uh, 40 plus years, I, it couldn't have been just one thing. I, I think it's a lot of things had to happen, uh, you know, the perfect storm. Uh, this happened, X, Y, Z happened, and they all happened at the same time. And that's what contributed uh, to the collapse. Again, we don't know what it is, uh, but... You know, that's something that we should wait for the investigation for. Uh, we have people, forensic experts that specialize in that, and they're on the site right now doing their investigation. Uh, so at least for me, that's, that's, you know, that's my boring answer. Wait for the official investigation. And uh, my last thought is, it, I think what we can learn from this event is I. First of all, it's a reminder of the importance of uh, civil structural engineering in society. It's we're, uh, I believe we're we're kind of like the defensive linemen. If you're going into American football terms, you know they don't get a lot of credit, but if something goes wrong, they're the ones to blame. So it's you know it's if we do our jobs right. Uh, no one's going to notice. But if we do our jobs wrong, you know, the quarterback gets sacked. Oh, the linemen let them through. That's kind of what uh, this this type of work is. Uh, a lot of us don't like to, to get in the spotlight. 
but it, it really does remind us of how important you know our profession is our, our craft is it's you know human lives and i think it's a reminder for all of us to uh, to see how important our profession is but also you know when we're dealing with clients and whatnot uh, don't be afraid to push back always try to remember uh, put safety first in front of uh, you know profits I think it's a good exercise to whenever you're making some type of engineering decision where maybe owners want you to you know reduce some of the steel or some of the structural material you know always ask yourself like if you put a family member or a loved one in that building, would you be fine with it? And yeah, I, that's about all I can think of. You know, these are my opinions. These are the ways uh, that I'm think that I think about. I know other people might feel differently. That's completely fine. But you wanted to know my thoughts. That's where I'm coming from. Uh, so yeah, thanks for sticking till the end and stay safe. And I'll see you next time.